Alright, what's up guys, today we're doing a video on how to install the Windows 10 Creators Update. So first of all, what you want to do is, after you booted uh, off of the DVD or ISO on the um, uh, USB stick you're using to install it, you'll be greeted by this screen. And here you just want to choose your language, uh, your time format, and your keyboard and input method. So I'm going to quickly go through here and leave that with a full English is fine, and English UK because that's what I'm using. And simply hit next and install now. And wait for that to load, and I'll say setup is starting. And after that's done, you can enter your product key. I don't have one right now, so I'm going to click I don't have a product key. And then you want to choose the additional Windows 10 you want to install, either Pro or Home, depending on what version you paid for. I'm going to simply click Pro and hit Next. You want to uh, accept and read through the license agreement. After you've done that, you can hit Next. And then here is where it gets a little bit difficult. You want to click on Custom, and you'll be greeted by the list of drives and partitions on those drives. Uh, if you've only got one drive in your computer, you can simply uh, format it and you want to choose the largest unallocated space on your drive. So you want to click there, and you want to click New, hit Apply, hit OK, wait for it to format, and then you want to click on the primary um, type, and you want to hit Next, and then wait for it to finish installing. All right, and as the installing Windows step uh, comes to an end, you'll be asked to reboot your computer, and so we're going to do just that when it prompts us. And here we are, we're just simply going to click Restart Now, and wait for it to reboot. Alright, so as it's rebooting, you'll be greeted by the screen where it'll say uh, getting devices ready and starting services. This is simply for a uh, first time setup kind of thing and it won't happen again after that. After that's done, it should reboot once more and then you'll be greeted by the normal Windows loading screen. And this is the step where we're going to be going through and configuring and setting up our computer uh, just before we then go and use it. Alright, so after it's finished booting up, it will say just a moment and it'll have a loading wheel. And after this is done, we're going to be going through and configuring our settings and accounts uh, just before we can start to use, use our uh, Windows 10 install. Alright, so after it's finished loading, uh, you'll be greeted by this screen, and by default, Cortana will start speaking to you uh, if you've got a speaker connected, so you might want to turn that off because it is kind of annoying. So just go down here and click the little microphone button, and it will stop talking to you. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to wait for it to finish, uh, going through the little intro, and then you'll begin. So at this point, you just want to choose your region, uh, so go, go and do that, and hit Next. And then choose your keyboard layout, and click Yes. And you can either add a, uh, another layout, or you can just skip if you only need one. And at this point, it might try and check if you uh, need any updates, if you're connected via um, an Ethernet cable, or you've already connected via Wi-Fi. Uh, if you're not connected to the network, uh, you can skip this step, because it won't happen to you, and you can do the updates later, once you've got your computer working. Alright, so at this point, you can choose um, if you want to set up a personal account, or your organisation account. Uh, for most people, if you're just using Windows at home, then you can click Personal Use, and hit Next. And then you can uh, choose to sign in with your Microsoft account if you have one already, or you can uh, create one here. But if you, uh, you don't want to have a Microsoft account linked to your Windows computer, you can simply go down here to the bottom and click Offline Account. And then you can type in your name, so I'm going to type in Adam, and press Next. And then you can choose a password, but I'm going to skip that. And at this point you can choose if you want to use Cortana or not, I'm going to hit No. And then you can go through and choose the privacy settings for your device. If you're concerned about privacy, um, you can go ahead and turn all these off, although um, it's debatable whether Microsoft still collect your data or not. So uh, these will only go so far in protecting your privacy, but it is still at least uh, better than nothing. And hit accept. And after it's done, it will say, okay, that's the last step. And after that, you will start to log in. And then after that, you'll be greeted by the uh, presentation screen where uh, it, the computer's getting everything ready in the background. And this will usually come up for about, maybe about 5 to 10 minutes maximum. Um, but it usually doesn't take that long, and after that you can use your computer straight away. So just let it sit through uh, this thing, and make sure you don't unplug the battery. Um, and you keep your computer turned on in this process, because it can mess everything up, and you might have to reinstall the whole thing again if you do turn it off. After that, I'll say let's start, and then you'll be uh, thrown straight into the desktop, and you can get on and use your computer as you usually would. So uh, during this point, uh, you can go ahead and you can uh, connect to a network if you aren't connected already. You can uh, go through and uh, install all the drivers and software you want to use, and after that, you've got a fully functional computer. Uh, a few things I do recommend after first installing Windows is going into Windows Update and updating everything, uh, just so everything's... Um, up to date obviously and you've got the latest security fixes and such but after that you've got a fully working um windows install so i hope you all enjoyed this uh tutorial and if you want to see more like this uh, please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one